And then literally there's one right behind me. He's still trucking. Blustery, I think would be the best way to describe current conditions. Ah, uh, I gotta get in the truck. My hands are freezing, y'all. Welcome back everybody to the channel. We are traveling today. We're at a truck stop right now, but don't worry, I was just at the check stop. I-35 staple, you know me, your I-35 tour guide. Got the boat hooked up, and I just got loaded up on uh, groceries, kolaches, coffee, the essentials of uh, Central Texas life. With Lunkers TV, he is coming in hot right behind me, and we are uh, we're gonna do some dangling, some dual dangling. It's kind of like truck camping. Hopefully, we get a place to stay, slash going after fish during the freezing cold conditions. It's gonna be game time. You guys might enjoy this format a little bit more this week where um, me and Rob have never done this, where both of us go out and we're, we're together, but we're in a different boat. So we're going to be trying to attack the lake uh, in squadrants. Squadrants? That's like quadrants, but Guggen Squad version. Squadrants. I see the old lunker wagon. Pull it in now. You know what warms your hands up the best? A nice warm kolache from the actual Czech bakery. I didn't betray you. I only came over to Slovacek's because they had more room at the gas pumps. I haven't tried their breakfast one yet. It's my first time trying it. I'm not really sure what else is in there, but it is good. And thank you to the fishing freak that sent in this custom etched mug. Take a close gander on that one. That's saucy. Make every cast count. And we're going to this week. All right, fueled up. Ready to hit the road? Lucky you guys gas. Let's get it pop. Look at this double trouble we have here. The twinks. Gone through almost three quarters of a tank of gas. Surprise you pay. Let's go bass fishing for little little green fish. Give you so much pleasure. We're home! We are home! Y'all love campsites. I really do. I love fishing and camping. In fact, my house, the tree house, I try to emulate. Uh, well, actually, some of you already sent in some signs. We still got to put them up on the trees around there. But like where I back my boat in, it, it, it's meant to look similar to this. I have some treated logs back there. I've got trees around. I'm going to have signage that says boat parking. So thank you for all your creativeness. But that's basically what we're doing here. Except instead of staying in a tent, we got cabins. And it is brisk. Right now we're the only people here, so <laughs> that's probably a bad sign. I have to go put on some more clothing because it's probably gonna be very nipply out there. We're gonna uh, rig up some tackle here, get ready for the dangle, but I'm happy with the digs tonight. Yeah, yeah, this is just, uh, just for us three. <clears throat> two, two beds, three dudes? Yeah, I also have a cot uh, no, if we need to do that, but if it gets really cold, I get Steven. So another great thing about this area for all you uh, non-Texans that are watching this, uh, this, is the, this is the area of Texas where really the uh, Texas was won, conquered. You've got all of these, these cabins are named after these famous, famous gentlemen that uh, pioneered Texas. Stephen F. Austin. You've got Sam Houston, Davy Crockett, all those Alamo greats, Washington County, this whole area. I lived here for about five years. It's great to be back here. I love seeing all the live oaks and the cedars and all of the, um, the mountain cedar that, that Rob is extremely aller allergic to. He's already popped a couple of Claritin. And the one reason I, I, uh, I liked fishing down here uh, was because this time of year, I, I would always still be able to catch fish because it seems like this area and then East Texas, uh, the fishing's always better at the beginning of the year than North Texas where I'm really from. It's just, uh, it's just a different level. They're like a, a month or two ahead usually and it's just more consistent. So that's why we're here. Now let's get some tackle ready. It's time for me and Rob to divide and hopefully conquer this lake. Spent a little while re-rigging some rods, put some 18 pound test 
fluoro on there. I was still set up for Mexico fishing, so had to make some adjustments. Got two of the Signature Series 7, two big sexies rigged up. I uh, got a, a chatterbait on one, I got a jig on the other, and I'm gonna take a look at the water temperature and go from there. I also spent quite a bit of time rigging out uh, some more tackle, more crankbaits, uh, lipless crankbaits, got more chatterbaits and everything like that, just typical springtime stuff. I'm hoping the water is above 55 out here. <laughs> Turned on the electronics already. I'm amazed by the mega imaging. I can see the, uh, there's tilapia out here. You can see the holes that they're in. Uh, I can see where if there's a fish in there, I would be able to see it. Hey, take off. Three, 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 three. That's right, baby. We got good water temps, 60 degrees. Temps are looking like sexual chocolate right now. Uh, anything over 55, I'm always happy with. I feel like the fish are gonna bite moving lures. Uh, you don't have to fish, just the dead crawl, the slowness. I see coots in the grass, that's always a good sign too. We got grass out here, so maybe start out a little shallow grass fishing. And uh, if you can't catch them there, we're moving out to eat, baby. Just uh, initial look here, I think I might have found a big group of shad with some fish on the bottom. And we're in. It's been a long travel day. This water looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Only boat out here today, what is going on? 60 degrees, coming off a full moon. These fish, some fish could be spawning right now. What I'm doing right now is trying to find a little bit of grass. Don't see any coots here, so there may not be very much. But this is basically just a big flat. Just kind of slow rolling this 3 8 ounce chatterbait. And the wind is howling! My partner's on the other side of the lake. Rob is right now, or he's right behind me on the other side of this pocket. So I'm really curious to see uh, his report from over there because uh, last year, I had a, had a really good streak over by some stumps in there and it's calm on that side. So I wanna see if those fish have moved up shallow into that area. Okay, I have not felt anything. I might move a little bit closer to the bank. Yep, I'm sure that audio is just a peach. Okay, pick it up. Moving back to the, out to that deep spot. Couldn't stand it. Putting on a big gold spoon right now to see if I could vert vertically jig up some of these fish. They're moving a little bit, but they're in a general area. I'm gonna go to my autopilot here, my iPilot. I'm gonna hit circle. I'm gonna circle this spot. Never done this before, never used a uh, a trolling motor to do this but i just noticed it the other day when i was test test running the boat and that's just incredible these fish when they're in little packs they're they look to be pretty close to the bottom there's a little pod of them right there come on baby they're just moving so quick Coming to check on Rob because uh, this area he's fishing is a good pre-spawn area. It's got a lot of trees. I want to see if they're if they're doing anything in here. I know. I came up over here just thinking. I was looking at the map. I was like, they have to be here. This is a road bed. Yeah. And then they—that's the first spot they stage is where you cast it, and then they move up. Hey, you don't need to crank at all. I just needed to come over here and give you a little juice. Did you catch any over there? No, I didn't. I, I found some small schools moving around, but. Probably one of your jigs, look. Oh. I, went, I went straight in like it was a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. Fishing jig slow. Just 
just rolled up to another spot out here deep. It's so windy and nasty. I'm having to fish on my knees, but uh, I'm trying to find some old spots that I had waypoints on. I don't think I'm on the exact juice, but I did find some fish on a big main lake point here. Oh gosh, I just had one. Just had a fish. All right, well, I've run around trying some deep stuff and it is very hard to fish out there. Found some stuff I like, fish sitting in the 20 to 25 feet of water. I wouldn't catch anything and I was getting just blown around like a Christopher Columbus. So I've come over to a little discharge area. A ton of deer over here, sitting there just munching away. I don't even care that I'm here. They're all, they're all feeding. Maybe the bass we're gonna feed too. Throwing a red lipless crankbait. This is a January, February classic lure to throw in Texas anyway. I'm gonna try to get up here and get on some rocks. Let's see, where did I have a big bag of trenchies? All right, here we go. I've never tried this technique, what I'm about to do. Put it on a structure head jig. I'm gonna take off that front portion like this. And just stick it right on top. And there you go. That ooh, baby, that looks good. I'm learning megatons using the mega imaging. It hasn't been fruitful though. I know Rob's fishing that mid-depth to shallow. He's caught three, which is good. I mean, there's always going to be fish in that shallow area, but I'm trying to find the wad. I know there's going to be wads out here, pre-spawn fish somewhere. So what I want to do, what I want to get better at is, is, uh, is not fishing until I'm really confident using the electronics. I think that makes you a super efficient angler when you can do that and know that there's bass there, know that they're positioned right to bite. That's key, because I've found three groups of fish so far, glued to the bottom, looks like they're gonna bite, but they're not. So I need to find the right stuff. I'm gonna try winding along a creek channel and see if I can spoon up any fish or maybe throw a heavy jig or something out there. But right now, no fish. First snag of the day is some, looks like monofilament line. We'll take this out of the lake. Oh, I'm glad I could just come out here and clean the lake up. At least. Something. That's a catfishing rig there, for sure. Throw this in the old uh, Skeeter trash can unit. That is so nice, having that. Oh, simple things. Jig, I think they want it slow. This trench hog, actually see just a couple of fish moving through on the graph it's a, it's like onesie twosies really i'm not finding any any big wads here but secondary points main leg points 15 to 22 23 foot of water they all have a few fish this can't get bit in the deeps dead gummit trying hard marking fish on every spot can't get them to go. I'm trying spoons, I'm trying swim baits, I'm trying trench hogs. I think I'm gonna end the day just shallow. I don't want to, I'm not happy about it. <sighs> right now I'm just looking for some grass clumps. Just using the side imaging here. I see a lot of beds, tilapia beds. There's even fish in them. It's crazy. Better stop and fish those. God, you can see fish in those freaking. Look at that. Okay, I still don't know how to work this thing. See those big groups of coots out in front of me? Maybe you can't, but if you ever see those, you know, on a on a lake, that's usually a good indicator of major grass. Let's see if we got any fish up by the reeds today. Oh, 
Just need me a little something right here. A little something to put a cherry on my day. Bite out deep is not good. Fish are moving around a lot. They're not just not positioning well. There's a mid-depth bite going on. Hard to do in the wind. We could definitely do that tomorrow, but the water looks high and this the reeds look great and there's bait. Oh, I don't know if that was a fish or not. On the outside of these reeds, there's plenty of water on them and the water's clean. It looks good. Oh yeah, that's the good grass too. That's the kind we want right there. Okay, here we go. Yep, we found some good grass. Getting a couple little bites here. Oh my gosh, that was a bass right there. Right there. Okay, we got good grass. Getting bites found some fish, some shallow fish. Just need to dial in some baits. Oh, there's one. Got it. Oh, little guy. Oh, is he still on? Nope, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got it. Come here, buddy. I know you want to throw it. I just saw a beaver. Oh, he slapped at it. Why didn't you want to eat it? This is what we needed right here though, guys. Oh my gosh. I, did, I thought that fish was gonna come off for sure. Super fat. That fish is healthy. Standard ripping it out of the grass fish right there. Red lipless crankbait. Classic tactic. Oh my gosh, that makes me feel so good. Oh my goodness, you guys don't even know. I was marking the bait. Like the water's clean, I got good grass. It was like everything came together. Wind finally calmed down. Uh, that's good, I can get, get a bite on a moving bait like that. That way I know I can come back here tomorrow and really pick this place apart. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, and one just hit up there. Oh, got another bite, got him, got him, got him, yes, yes. Well, these fish are wanting to jump big time. Look at them. About the same size, he just came off. About 10 to 20 feet out in front of that grass line. They're just in that fresh green grass. And, and this time of year, it's important to find that fresh fresh grass. If you can find it, sometimes it's just got, it's got more bait in it, it holds more oxygen. Just good all the way around. and. I just, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of fish that size in here. Like if I, if I was pre-fishing for a tournament right now, I would definitely, this is where I would start. This is kind of a two day uh, situation video. So uh, you guys definitely going to want to stay tuned and see what happens on the morrow. Oh, got it right there. Oh, that's a good fish better fish oh he come off dang that was a three pounder Woo. okay we're getting somewhere i'm figuring this thing out oh got him oh dang he came off bait's all messed up there he is got him hooked up better fish maybe running gonna be my last cast guys oh yeah 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 yeah. there we go good fish right here maybe maybe just hooked weird kind of pulled some drag for a second look at these fatties absolute fatties and they're not eating it that good still got them in the boat though oh and that my beautiful bass that's not a bad bass right there that's a good bass. The sunset coming through the gills. That's going to be my last one. We're retiring the day on you. Thank you for the information you have provided for me and your friends. I will be back to get all your buddies tomorrow.
Steven with the pullout. Much appreciated. Yep, I'm a dumbass. What? I uh, thought I released the brake, I popped the hood. Oh, you popped the hood? Yeah. <laughs> Is that why we're going so slow? Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be dining on some meat that I picked up today. We got all my sandwiches and everything in here. I've even got me a cookie. Got my coffee for tomorrow. I'm gonna start brewing my own coffee. This is this is freaking Dunkin' in a pinch. Got these guys. Oh, you know what? These are frozen. Look at them. Ricky's out here are crazy look at this guy i was just telling rob like hey you might want not want to leave stuff in your boat that raccoons will eat remember how bad they are and then literally there's one right behind me he's still trucking look at this little he's going, feller here he's going, to my boat, isn't he? he's going to your boat he's like i don't i don't want to mess with these folks where's ricky going i'm gonna put the full blast on him is he under my truck where'd he go I think we might have, oh my gosh, dude. Did he get him on a truck? The heck, dude, he just disappeared. Where's your traps when you need them, man? You know what, I got that meat on the tailgate. I'm gonna grab it. Uh, as quick as he is, he's probably gonna try to sneak around and take it away. We're gonna attempt to light a fire here. So those little sponge berries, I like to call them. They, they, really, they really like to get it going. Don't breathe it in too hard now. <laughs> <laughs> that was just straight in your face. Yeah, yeah see, so I've built a nice little roof doing, of cedar here with the uh, sponge berries. Um, Nothing's really taking shape there. Give it a second, man. <laughs> and it much, fell over. Pretty much just fell over. But there was a distance problem. Don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, there's there's one way to light a fire. Wow. Yeah. I think let, let that thing just simmer there. Wow. Sure. Okay. Steven. Yeah. That was a good move. That was a good survival move. Well, I don't need a bear grills. You can just kick him right in the nuts out there. <laughs> kick bear grills straight in the straight in the back. That's a power move. Take that bear grills. All right. Oh yeah. Now we got to start it now. It's sizzling, dizzling good. Look at that, y'all. This is what fish camp is all about. Whee! Uh, we have a raccoon still roaming the premises. I think he smells the food. He's waiting. He's just on the outskirts. There's a there's a whole like trash treasure trove out in the show? bushes. Come on, right, where they you. have uh, you got it? You got yeah, the light? Got, got all right. Come over here. Let's. Oh, turn it bigger. Let's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Go, hold it down. Hold the button down. There oh, it goes yeah. right there. So. Uh, Watch out for Ricky. They're roaming around over here. It's like they've been carrying oh, stuff in oh, here. Getting old. Wait, Ugh. look in there. Oh yeah. You see that? Oh yeah. Treasure trove. You see where they've been getting their little uh their little right happies? Over here. Yeah, look at that right there. Can you see it right there? They're carrying off beer cans, they're carrying beer. off burritos, wrappers. Oh yeah, look at that burrito. Oh, it yeah, looks right, like a right Bucky's. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah right there. That is a Bucky's uh, uh, Rhino. Is what that looks like right there. I remember these being such a problem last time. It kind of freaked everybody out because they were. They get on the roof. It, yeah, in our cabin, they were like actually trying to get in. They were in the insulation and stuff. It's crazy. This is a good little light. Yeah, yeah, it's a good light. It's made by uh, Olight. Check them out, Olight.com. Meat check. Ooh, a little, little pop-up, a little flare-up. That bacon likes to get flamey. She's got some time. Ooh. Okay, y'all, it is time to dig into some dinner. Now, this is our dig for the night, by the way. Just a little simple cabin arrangement. But we're gonna get up in the morning. I'm super excited to get back out there after those fish that I found at the end of the day. What a blessing that was, because it was a quite a tough day. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to get after it in the morning. If you wanna subscribe right here to the channel so you can see what happens tomorrow, go ahead and do it right here. And I love you guys. See you then.